Welcome to Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. It may be a top-rated destination for smallmouth, but I'm here to test out the rods and my skills on walleye. The word is that you're the man to see about huge walleye in Sturgeon Bay. That's what they tell me. Let's go. We're about a mile off of the east side of Green Bay, fishing a lot of rocks right now. Anytime you got nice wind blowing in, we got what we call a walleye chop. There you go, nice fish. Oh, we got another one here, crew. Yep. Here, I'll grab that one. We'll, uh, we'll swap with you. And now it's getting fun. This is where a trolling gets fun. That white tip down on the tail. It's kind of the telltale sign of a walleye. They got a big gill raker right here behind the cheek. That's super sharp. They're never going to go down to feed. They're always going to come up to hit a bait. So the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they're fishing too deep. Can you talk about some specifics of what we're utilizing? So we're using an Ugly Stick GX2. For trolling, you want something that's got a nice stiff backbone, which this rod does, but something that's got a nice soft tip. That's gonna be basically your shock absorber. And this is a minnow style bait. We also run shad style baits. We're just trying to match the hatch. On your sunny days, you definitely wanna to stick to your chromes. On your cloudier days, we're running darker baits, just trying to match that silhouette. We're using a braided line, and there's no stretch in the braid. Um, so whether you're jigging or trolling, you're gonna feel everything that's going on with that bait or with that fish. Yeah! Look at that! Oh, here you go, Coop. Outside board. Nice, man, it's a double. Oh, big walleye, crew. Look at the size of that one. Take your time. Oh, he's off. Oh, oh my, so, so tell me, that, I mean, that's heartbreaking, but this is a perfect time for me to learn something. Yeah. What am I doing right there that's, that's losing the set? Um, reeling a little too fast and pulling back on him when he's trying to pull against you. Whoa, 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 man, behind you. Got you. Oh, here we go. Nice. Good call on that one. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh. Right! That's what we're talking about, huh? That's what you come to Green Bay for right there. Here we go, baby. Smile big. Planer boards just allow us to spread lines out. And this is exactly a classic example of what we look for in a big walleye coming in. You got the board straight behind the boat, and you got that board angled down, that rear end tunker down at a 45 degree angle. That fish is digging, trying to stay down tight to the bottom. So if I was a bet man, I think you got another big fish, buddy. You want to keep trolling? It's obviously productive, or do you want to go switch it up and go try jigging a bit? It's jig. Awesome, man. All right, Max, so tell me what we're uh, actually fishing with here. What kind of lure you got going? So we're rip jigging big plastics. You want to get that bait out as far away from the boat as you can. We're in real clear water. We're also in some deeper water, so the longer the cast, the more contact with the bottom. I'm trying to imitate gobies. So once our bait's down there, I'm just gonna take up my slack. I'm gonna start my jig from the bottom, and I'm gonna hop it up two to three feet and pause. Here we go, hooked up. There you go, nice fish. And you can see, he munched that. Yeah, it looks like we got a uh, big thunderstorm coming in, a couple lightning bolts back there. All right, folks, uh, we had a great time out here, caught some awesome walleye in Sturgeon Bay. It looks like we're gonna make, what, one more cast? Yeah, one more cast. Couldn't have had a better time in Sturgeon Bay. Big thanks to Max from Alexander Sport Fishing, and we'll see you next time on Uncharted Waters. What's up, mine to do with a stingy ocean?